Hi, and in today's video, I'm going to show you this design here, which is a flyer, and I'm going to show you how to create all these component parts in Canva. So I'm on the home page, and I need to go up to create design. And for this design, I've used an A4 document. So we're just going to click on that. So the first thing to do is to insert your main image. And if we go to elements, and we go down to photos and click see all. And at the top here, we can place in coffee and press enter. And then we need to scroll down here and find an image that we like for our flyer. Now I'm going to choose this one here. Don't forget, not all of these are free. If you see this little crown, it means that's part of the pro version, but we're gonna do this all for free. So click on this image here and it will be inserted into your document. Now you can rotate the image by using this icon down here, or you can just simply move the image to where you want it, grab the corner, and then you can make this as big or as small as you like. We're gonna make this quite big. Maybe a little bit bigger, there we go. Now the reason I've chosen this particular photograph is because it's got this blank space to the right, which will allow us to put some text in. The reason I have put my photo in first is because when we pick the colors for the rest of our document, Canva will select some of the colors from this picture. And I'll show you that now. So if we go to elements and we go to shapes, I'm just going to choose this square, just click on it. You can see it's inserted into the document. Click and drag that up. Let's just move that to the top. And then we're gonna stretch that out across our page as well. Now to change the color of this shape, just click on this color icon here. And as you can see, it says photo colors. And cleverly, Canva has selected colors that appear in the photograph. You don't have to choose these colors, but obviously if you do, then they will be very well coordinated to your design. So I'm gonna select this one here and go with that one, but you can select from any of the others if you choose. Let's just have a look at this one. You can scroll through. No, I think I prefer this one. That's great. Now we're gonna put some more graphics in these other two squares here. So let's just go up. I think I've actually moved that one up a bit. Let's put that there. So instead of inserting another square, what I can do is duplicate it. If your cursor is inside here, so if I double click, you see my cursor's inside. You can't use the little clipboard. So if I deselect it, reselect the rectangle, you can use this icon here that says duplicate. Let's just duplicate that, move it down, and then just resize it. We're gonna pop it about here. And then back up to here, we're going to give it a border style. We're gonna select this border style here. We're gonna move that border up to around about 15. And we'll go to border shape, which is this one, border color. And we're going to select white, but you can again select from these colors here. So if you wanted it to coordinate a bit more, you can. We're just going to choose white. And then the internal color, I'm going to choose transparent or no color. And then we're going to do exactly the same. We're going to copy this again, reduce the size of it a little bit. And then we're going to put that inside there as well. You can see when I move these around, you get these little pink guidelines that will pop up and that will tell you when you've centered your rectangle or image or square or, re or circle, whatever you've chosen. So now I'm going to customize this one. So make sure it's selected. I'm gonna take off the border. So select these lines, border, and click no border. And then we're gonna select on the color again here. And then we're gonna select white. Then we're going to select this again and produce one more rectangle. And then we're going to bring it down to the bottom here. There we go. Back up to color. And we use this color again to match. But this time we're gonna to go to this icon here, which is transparency, click on it. And we're just gonna move that transparency down to allow the background to show through. So once we've got our basic graphics in our design, we're going to insert some text. And again, duplication is the name of the game for this. Now I find ideally you should only use two different types of font. So if we go down to text, you can see that generally, if we scroll right down, 
keep going, you can see that generally only two different types of text are used. So what we're going to do for the first lot of text is I'm just going to insert a heading and I just clicked on this one here. I'm just going to move that up. There we go. In this one, I'm going to type hello and I'm going to change the font to fair play display and I'm going to increase the size to 48, no, maybe down to 110. And I've also made that bold. Once we've got that one, then all we need to do is click away, click back on, let's click back on that, hit the duplicate button, pull that one down. And in this one, we'll put winter. But this time we're gonna take the bold off and keep that about the same. Just move these down. Make sure they're in the middle to check. You can select it, go to position, and then you can go to center. It's grayed out because it's already centered, but if it wasn't centered, let's just move this over. Position, click center, and it will center it for you. Again, we're going to copy this. So hit that copy button. I'm gonna bring that down here. I'm just gonna hit that copy button twice more because we need some more text there. Another one, we need the website. Another one we need up here. And one more we need here. It's far easier to copy and paste it. So let's just get our text in here. Double click inside for your cursor. Command or Control A will select all of the text for you. And then we're gonna change the font color to white. And then we're gonna copy and paste that text in. And then the top text here will be 38, font size 38 press enter and the rest of it will be 19. So let's go up and press the 19, press enter, there we go. Okay, now I'm going to change the alignment of this. So select it, go up to this icon here and click. Keep clicking until you get the alignment you want, which is right alignment, which I want. Now it's only selected those two lines, so I need to select it all. Command and Control A, go back to the alignment tool again. There we go. And then we just pull that text box across to ensure that that text goes onto two lines or three lines, whichever you want. And then we'll just move that over to the side and probably line that up. You can line it up with the edge of that box there. I'm just gonna go a little bit further over. Now, sometimes all these can get in the way. So I'm just gonna move this over to here. Click on this one. Double click inside, Command or Control A, let's change the font color to white. And then again, we'll change this to 38, press enter. And then we'll just copy and paste in some text. There we go. Now this text is the same, fair play display. I'm going to put this one to 27, press enter. And the text underneath, I'm going to put to 15 and press enter. There we go, let's just move that out of the way. This one, again, do the same. Change the font to white. Let's take that down to 27. Take that te text down to 15. Just move that out of the way. We'll just put this website in. This one we can change to 10. Oops. Uh, let's put, there we go, select it all. And just go up to the top here, change that to 10. Maybe change that to 15. There we go. And then we can just pop that down at the very bottom. And now we can line everything up. We can pop that in. This one here, I need to put over to the right. So double click inside, command or control A to select everything. Go to the alignment tool and just keep clicking till it moves over to the right. And I think at the same here, command or control A, let's move everything over to the right. There we go, just waiting for that pink line to make sure we're all lined up. Perfect. Okay, let's go to the top here. Command or control A, go to the color and turn it white. Take the font down to 15, double click inside, 
issue 25. We need to change the font here to this one here, Montserrat Classic. I don't know how you pronounce it, but that's the one we're going to change it to. And then we're going to move this one. If you can't move it, sometimes this icon will appear here, which is your move tool. Just grab that and move it. So much easier. And again, I'm actually just going to delete this one, select this one and just copy it and then move it over. So all I need to do is change the text inside. So that's all lined up. Click inside, Command and Control A, and then we'll put the date. And then again, use this move tool. It's a lot easier to move it over. Perfect. So that's how you can create a flyer very simply and easily in Canva. If you go up to the icon here that says share, click on it, and then you can simply go down to the download and download it to your laptop. I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.